Hi, boys and girls. This lesson is going to be on classifying quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon with four sides, four vertices, which are points, and four angles. Um, the quadrilateral is named by the relationship of its sides and the type of angles it has. And when you add all of the angles together, it adds up to 360 degrees. So the four angles added up is 360 degrees, unlike when you had a triangle, which was three sides, it was 180 degrees. The five types of quadrilaterals that we're going to discuss in this lesson are squares, rectangles, rhombus, parallelogram, and trapezoid. The first type of quadrilateral that we're going to discuss is a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a four-sided polygon with exactly one pair of parallel sides. So for a trapezoid, a trapezoid can have um, any type of angle. It can have right angles, obtuse angles, or acute angles. But this type of quadrilateral is based on the parallel sides. So what I mean by that is parallel sides are two sides that never cross, or they're two lines that never cross. So in this um, figure... The parallel lines are the ones that are opposite that would go straight on in, in forever. If you were to look at the other two lines, eventually they would cross. They wouldn't cross um, right now, but if you continued the lines, they would eventually cross. So the two lines here, the blue ones that I highlighted, are the parallel sides. They're opposites and they're parallel. Um, none of the sides have to be the same length or anything like that. Just you're looking for one pair of parallel sides for a trapezoid. The next type of quadrilateral we're going to talk about is a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a four-sided polygon. Opposite sides are equal and parallel. So not only are you going to have opposite sides parallel, which means the lines will never cross, but the opposite sides also have the same side length. So if you notice the example here, you can see that opposite sides have the same measurements, but they're also parallel. So the two, the top and bottom lines are parallel to each other, which means they'll never cross. And they're also both six centimeters long, where the other two lines on the left and right side are opposite and parallel and also the same length. They're both four centimeters. So you can see that this is compliant with the classifications of parallelograms. It's opposite sides, equal, and parallel. The third type of quadrilateral we're going to talk about is a rhombus. A rhombus is a four-sided polygon, which has opposite sides that are parallel, and all of the sides are equal in length. So again, just like our previous um, quadrilateral, the opposite sides are parallel, which means they never cross. But in this particular quadrilateral, um, all the sides are equal. So a lot of times when you have equal sides, they'll signify that with a little line that looks like this to indicate that all four of these sides are the same. Or you'll see measurements, which I've listed. I listed all four of the sides at three centimeters long. So I'm going to also highlight the parallel sides. So uh, the two green sides are parallel here. And the two yellow sides on the other two ends are also parallel. So you can see opposite sides are across from each other. They're parallel and equal. So the two greens and the two yellows, but all four sides are equal in length. Um, like the trapezoid and parallelogram, a rhombus can also have right angles, acute angles, or obtuse angles. Um, it doesn't, they're not specific to one type of angle. They just have to meet the side length and types of line requirements. The fourth type of quadrilateral we're going to talk about is a rectangle. A rectangle is also a four-sided polygon. Opposite sides are equal and parallel, just like um, a parallelogram and, um, and a rhombus. But this time, it talks about angle measure. 
in a rectangle, you only will have a right angle, which is a 90 degree angle, which makes the perfect corners. So again, I've labeled the side lengths for you. Opposite sides are the same measures. So the two six feet sides and the two two feet sides are opposites and equal. So I'll highlight those. Our two feet sides are both green. They're opposite and parallel. And then our two long sides are six feet opposite and parallel. A lot of times, again, I said you'll see those signified by a line to indicate that they're equal. So the two top ones would have maybe a single line saying they're equal and the two side ones would have two, a double line like that saying they're equal as well. Um, and then again, like I said, they'll have four right angles. Sometimes you will have the little angle corners like I'm drawing here for you. Sometimes you won't have them, but when they make that perfect L shape, that perfect corner, like all four of these corners do, those are right angles. So remember, a, a rectangle has opposite sides that are equal and parallel, and they have four right angles. The last type of quadrilateral that we're going to talk about is a square. A square is really similar to a rectangle, but has one difference. So in a square, instead of opposite sides being equal and parallel, all four sides are equal. They have the same measurement, but opposite sides are parallel, and there's also four right angles. So I'm going to go ahead and identify the four right angles really quickly. So we have our four right angles in the corners. Those are all our 90 degree angles. But all four um, side lengths are the same. So we would indicate that with these four lines, just like we did with a rhombus. They're all the same um, length um, when you measure them. But the opposite sides are parallel lines. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight those so you can see those. Um, so the top and bottom lines are both parallel. There are red lines. And our two left and right lines are also parallel um, together. So you can see that all four sides are the same uh, length. And then opposite sides are equal in length and parallel. And you have four right angles. So that wraps up our quadrilateral discussion. Please make sure that you review this video a few times and then also go back and review the lesson before you work on the assignments.